There is a verdict tonight for Amanda Knox, the young American woman who went abroad to study, ended up spending more than two years in an Italian jail, accused of murdering and sexually assaulting her English roommate. NBC's Keith Miller covering the trial is with us from there tonight. Keith, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Well, here in Perugia, Italy, an eight-member jury deliberated for about 10 hours and passed a guilty verdict on Amanda Knox, sentencing her to 26 years in prison. Her ex-boyfriend got 25 years in prison. Both of them find the equivalent of $1.5 million. The murder made a sensation almost from the moment Italian police discovered the body of Meredith Kircher, an exchange student from England. When the prosecutor in the case suggested a blonde, blue-eyed student from Seattle was a suspect, there was a media storm. I don't think Perugia for a very long time will be able to shake the murder of Meredith Kircher. I think people will always associate Perugia with this murder. Italian authorities established a theory. Knox, along with her boyfriend, Rafael Solicito, and another man, Rudy Guedi, were high on drugs when they attempted to lure Kircher into a sex game. When she refused, Knox slit her throat. In closing arguments, the prosecutor altered his theory, calling the murder a hate crime, accusing Knox of seeking vengeance against a roommate who complained that she was promiscuous. Guady was convicted of the crime in an earlier trial, but Knox and Solicito maintained their innocence till the end. They're adamant they had nothing to do with this, and they're adamant they are not responsible for the murder of Meredith Kircher. This morning, defense lawyers had a final opportunity to convince the jury their clients are not guilty. Police procedures were questioned and the validity of DNA challenged. Teams of forensic scientists provided wildly contradictory testimony about the validity of the evidence. Since her arrest two years ago, Knox has captured the imagination of the Italian press and public. Perhaps most fascinating, the all-American girl called Angel Face by the Italian media never fit the image of a killer. On hearing the verdict, Knox broke into tears. Her mother collapsed, and the family of her ex-boyfriend, Solicito, started hurling abuse at the prosecution. The Knox family say that they will appeal, doing everything they can to get their daughter safely back home to, Spo to Seattle, Washington. Brian? Keith Miller on tonight's verdict in Italy. Keith, thanks. And a reminder, there's much more on the story of Amanda Knox tonight. That's Dateline at 9, 8 central time.